Want to see more cool videos on our channel? We do, so press this bell and enable to send notifications. Whoa, Mother Nature is amazing, isn't she? Ever wonder how certain animals are able to survive freezing cold temperatures without dying? After all, they can't just put on a warmer sweater or crank up the thermostat. Although it hasn't been observed beyond our planet, life is certainly resilient on Earth. And some of the most impressive examples of life's resilience occur at the poles, where animals scrounge out a living in frozen wastelands. It's fascinating how creatures evolve and adapt to Mother Nature's harshest circumstances. Some animals have developed death-defying adaptations to survive the frigid winter months at extreme latitudes, ceasing life functions for deep hibernation, flooding their bodies with cryoprotectant chemicals, or even giving in to the cold and freezing themselves. Number 10. Alligators Air-breathing alligators don't do anything as fancy as freezing their blood cells during the winter. So you might be wondering how they get access to oxygen when the water bodies in which they live freeze over. Alligators in one North Carolina swamp have once again survived themselves with one simple, genius trick. When ice closes in on their bodies, the alligators stick their snout through the surface. Although they remain immobile in the ice, Newsweek explains that they can still breathe normally through their nose until the temperature warms up. It's just an absolute amazing survival technique. General Manager George Howard of Shallot River Swamp Park in North Carolina told WETC after some alligators froze there this year. These guys were built tough millions of years ago, and they remain tough today. He says the alligators seem to sense when the water is at its freezing point and poke their noses into the air at just the right moment. Howard has said frozen alligators enter a state of brumation, which is similar to hibernation. Number 9. Painted Turtle Hatchlings Found in freshwater habitats in the US and Canada, the hatchlings of painted turtles have an incredible adaptation that allows them to survive harsh winters. Hatchlings have more than one trick up their sleeve for overcoming the big winter chill, and some of them are not yet completely understood by scientists. Hatchlings are known to be resilient to icy conditions by avoiding freezing altogether. The key to their survival? A reduced metabolic rate that reduces their energetic needs to a minimum. These turtles can remain in a super cool state in temperatures as low as 28 degrees Fahrenheit for around three days. They have a unique ability to rapidly warm and thaw out. The hardy youngsters are the super cooling superstars of the vertebrate world, and they can also endure partial freezing, surviving even substantial ice formations within their tissues. Their response to the cold varies depending on the environmental conditions surrounding their nest. As turtles can breathe through their skin, they also have lungs. They can live in freezing cold lakes so long as the water is at least partially oxygenated, according to nature.com. Number 8. Iguanas When temperatures get below 40 or 50 degrees Fahrenheit, cold-blooded animals such as iguanas can freeze up. This means if they were initially high up in the trees, they're coming down. As Twitter user Frank Sarabino captured in his Florida backyard when temperatures dropped in January. But they aren't dead. According to National Geographic, their blood has slowed down and they're in a lethargic state akin to a deep sleep. Sounds soothing. These iguanas are temporarily immobilized by the cold and will be running around again once the outside temperature, and thus their body temperature, rises. In the meantime, definitely do not pick up a frozen iguana if you think he is dead. Remember, he's just enjoying a deep rest, and he may react defensively to being touched. Number 7. Arctic Ground Squirrels Arctic Ground Squirrels are the only mammal on this list, and for good reason. Like the other contenders, these squirrels can also supercool their bodies below its freezing point, down to minus 2.9 degrees Celsius, 28.78 degrees Fahrenheit, a record amongst mammals. Every September, Arctic ground squirrels in Alaska, Canada, and Siberia retreat into burrows more than a meter beneath the tundra, curl up in nests built from grass, lichen, and caribou hair, and begin to hibernate. As their lungs and heart slow, the rivers of blood flowing through their bodies dwindle, and their core body temperatures plummet, dipping below the freezing point of water. During hibernation, electrical signals zipping along crisscrossing neural highways vanish in many areas of the brain. Five months later, squirrels wake up and return to the surface, famished, eager to mate, and perfectly healthy. 
How hibernating mammals survive for so long at such low temperatures without any food or water beyond what they have stored in their own fat fascinates scientists for many reasons. Hibernation is an amazing biological feat and an opportunity to learn new ways of pushing the human body beyond its ostensible limits, as well as healing it when it breaks down. The Arctic ground squirrel's brain, in particular, seems to be incredibly resilient. When ground squirrels hibernate, their neurons shrink and many connections between neurons shrivel. But their brains periodically compensate for this loss with massive growth spurts, multiplying neural links beyond what existed before hibernation. Learning how the ground squirrel's brain recuperates could not only help scientists understand the brain's plasticity, but also suggests new ways to reverse or prevent cellular damage in neurodegenerative diseases. Number 6. Darkling Beetle In the depths of the Alaskan winter, the UP's beetle endures temperatures as low as minus 104 degrees Fahrenheit. The Alaskan darkling beetle can withstand temperatures as low as minus 104 degrees Fahrenheit by keeping its watery cells from freezing solid. How? Unlike many other animals and organisms that use proteins as antifreeze agents, this smart beetle produces a sugar-based antifreeze called xylomannan. The substance doesn't actually prevent freezing, but instead slows ice formation and ensures the freezing process doesn't get rowdy enough to damage the beetle cells. This strategy means the beetles remain unfrozen down to minus 7.5 degrees Celsius or 18.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Number 5. Wood Frog Given their watery habitat and delicate, porous skin, amphibians are pretty sensitive to cold. But the wood frog, whose range extends up to northern Alaska and the Yukon, takes it in stride. When it comes to hunkering down for the winter, the wood frog, Rana sylvatica, doesn't take any half measures. It literally turns itself into a solid little frogsicle. The heart stops, all muscle and breathing movements cease, and up to 70% of the body freezes, even the brain and the lens of the eye. And yet, come spring, the frogs thaw out and hop right back to life. This amazing case of cryogenics is possible thanks to several special adaptations, including the special antifreeze role played by glucose in the frog's body. Number 4. Tardigrade While all the creatures we discussed, other creatures certainly boast impressive cold-battling methods, but nothing compares to a tardigrade. These microorganisms, commonly called water bears, can survive just about anything you throw at them, whether it's high or low temperatures, massive amounts of radiation, dehydration, and even the vacuum of space. To start with, some tardigrades can survive being frozen to minus 359 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 273 degrees centigrade. Tardigrades can not only survive these conditions, but they come out of their dried out stasis unscathed. One recent study reanimated water bears frozen in 1983, and the tardigrades were able to keep on living and reproduce after more than 30 years. These creatures are virtually indestructible. So what's the secret? While there have been suggestions of the extraterrestrial kind, scientists believe that tiny invertebrates survive by entering a death-like dehydrated state known as cryptobiosis. Number 3. Arctic Woolly Bear Moths the Arctic woolly bear moth survives the cold by playing the waiting game. Most caterpillars hatch in the spring and spend a few months eating the necessary nutrients before taking to its cocoon, later emerging as a moth or butterfly. But Arctic woolly bear moths, which live within the Arctic Circle, don't have that luxury. In colder regions, where summers are fleeting, the caterpillar takes multiple seasons to pupate eating as much as it can during June and before entering a hibernation that lasts for most of the year. Its heart stops, breathing ceases, and the caterpillar's body synthesizes natural antifreeze like glycerol to protect its cells from ice crystals. It even degrades its cell's mitochondria while it hibernates. The caterpillars spend almost 90% of their lives in this frozen state, coming out to munch on their diet of arctic willow and if they've gathered enough nutrients to continue into their pupil and then adult moth form. And if they need more food when the warm season is over, it's back into hibernation for the caterpillar. The hardy creature was filmed freezing in its arctic habitat for the BBC Discovery Channel's frozen planet. Because of this patient strategy, 
The Arctic woolly bear is the oldest living caterpillar, taking years for a life stage most finish within months. Number 2. Red Flat Bark Beetles Red flat bark beetles survive the winter by hiding in Alaskan balsam poplar trees, wedging themselves in the moist area under the tree's bark. Like the baby-painted turtles, these beetles stave off the cold by supercooling, creating antifreeze proteins to prevent ice crystals in their cells. But nothing can supercool like a flat bark beetle. In lab tests at the University of Alaska Fairbanks, the beetles kept from freezing at temperatures as low as minus 150 degrees Celsius, minus 238 degrees Fahrenheit. Number 1. Resurrection Bug We saved this one for last because the life form in question hails from a different bacterial domain. But we thought surviving 120,000 years buried three kilometers deep in the Greenland ice sheets was a feat impressive enough to make the grade anyway. The amazing resurrection of Herminii Monis glacii occurred when scientists retrieved ancient ice from the base of a Greenland glacier and then revived the microbes found within by slowly warming them up. Scientists believe the bug's extensive tail-like flagella and tiny size. It consists of rods just 0.9 micrometers long and 0.4 micrometers in diameter, allowed it to maneuver within tiny veins of ice as it searched for edible debris frozen within. And the craziest thing? Herminii monis glacii is not even the most ancient superbug brought back to life. The winning contender was extracted from the oldest ice on the planet and was about 8 million years old. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoy the video, please let me know by clicking the like button. Do share, write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up my next video.